Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 39 of Let's Play Minecraft 1.5. And here we are on the New Eden server. And we're going to check out more bees today. And, um... Ooh, the trees are starting to grow up in here. Um, I did one cycle of the bees, just for fun. Um, and you can see some of the flowers starting to spread. Not too many, but... I don't think there was any yellow flowers over there before. Maybe not even the red ones over here. But you can see the bees, uh, particles reaching this far out. So, um... We would assume that they would be able to reach these trees, hopefully. Over time... Oh, here we go. Um, over time, you'll see the trees actually change to something different. So this is like some kind of fruit tree or something. The leaves are getting cross-pollinated. And I believe it happens if you have two different types of trees, like one over, you know, the one type and the one other type. And I guess they cross-pollinate and create some kind of new breed of trees. Um... So that's what's happening here, and it's actually working, so that's kind of cool. Um, we won't really get into the tree stuff now, right now. It'll be more like just slowly playing around with it. Basically, you can tap these and have a chance to get a sapling. Um, of course, you can also use a tool. Uh, let's see if I can find the name of it uh, in forestry here. Is this the same kind of? Yeah. There you go. Um, you can get a proven grafter or grafter. doesn't have many uses to it, but... Uh, you can get that, and basically you can whack them on there, and you'll have a 100% chance, I believe, to get it. And I do have one proven grafter, and we'll play with that a little later. So the bees here, um, basically this is what happens. Uh, the drone doesn't show up in there, it's usually in here, but I already had stacked them before. And then you can just throw them back in there onto another cycle. Um, and right now, because these are all peers, they're going to stack up really well. And uh, basically, these are just you know producing uh, comb for me, and some extra drones that we can use for crossbreeding down the road. So they're working pretty much on their purpose. Now over here, this is very interesting because these guys here were queens originally because I found them in some um, different uh, village biomes or village uh, towns, and. Wow, I've already got a cultivated princess and a cultivated drone. Um, wow, I don't know if that'll stick, but that is insane. So basically what was happening is I had to common, and um, I'm going to keep this one cultivated. I'm going to keep going on common on these ones. But um, basically, I guess it was a com uh, one forest and one... Uh, meadows and they crossbreed to a common and then of course I kept using it on the common with the force ones as well and that gave the chance of a cultivated so we're already speeding up really fast here and I'm not going to give you like a play by play every time we do this but since uh, these are definitely mutating fast now this is tropical this is very interesting um, I put it to a common but I'm not sure if this can breed here. We'll see. Um, I probably did the wrong option there, mixing that on there. I just wanted to anyway, so I'm not really caring much about the uh, tropical. But there you go. So that's the bees. I thought we could go ahead and play around with a bit of the forestry machine, see what we can make. Um, you know, we have some seeds, the proven frames, things like that. Um, the bee analyzer. So I thought we'd just have fun. Oh, and you probably notice these puppies here. And I don't know why I keep flying manually over here. I have the guy over there. Um, I've been basically taking my extra bees and throwing them in here. And uh, this is like sort of my bee storage. And once again, we should probably put private on these. You know, just keep them private. Because they're ours and it's a bit private. Private, boy. There you go. Put my Mistcraft book zone here out here. Uh, did a wee bit of work in here. Um, added some machines here. Energy tesseracts. Um, and then this place, I've done all this. And this is the basically the new place here. This will generate all my power for uh, BC power and as well as fuel processing, which will go in this big tank, which will hold 20,000 uh, buckets full. Um, Right now, I'm just basically getting these started, filled up. So it's actually kind of basically going through, processing that, and putting the power back, you know, the fuel back into these. Once these are full, 
then I'll start, you know, when the tank starts gaining up more, I'll start circulating them back into the actual fuel generators, and then everything will balance out, and it'll be great. And, oh yeah, you want to see something crazy. Oh, maps don't quite load properly when you go through. There you go. That's a cow biome. We've already seen that one. That's just a little north of my property, I believe. But, uh, yeah, that's that, that biome. And so let's look into forestry machines. So first of all, if we we're going to make something called like a bee analyzer, and that's probably the one I would recommend anyways, um, we're going to want to do some research here on that. So, what was this hit here? Here it is, bee analyzer. Well, it's apparently going to be used in a machine called a carpenter. So we're going to go and type in carpenter, and there we go. So we're going to need some bronze, sturdy casing. Well, we got everything but the sturdy casing. So how do we make sturdy casing? Just more bronze. And we're going to need a few of them. So let's just get a few of them in there. And there we go. Carpenter. Ta-da. And a carpenter, once again, uses... Guess what, guys? I guess you bet you can't guess. It uses BC power. Um, so we're going to probably want to put it here. Now, this has an automatic function to put something in here. So we're just going to white it out so it's a... If you can see down the crack there, it's just a, let's see, okay, oh, there you go, it's a just clear side now, so nothing will get automatically pumped in here. Now, the carpenter can use things like seed oil, or water, or etc. So, it's, um, I think it's water rate now, but we're going to have to keep that in our brain, you know, remember that, that we're going to have to probably pump something into it later on, um, it's a little annoying because I did put my wiring on the ground, but I probably should have put it in a wall because now we're going to have that problem of wanting to feed the stuff in. And since I don't really automate this, you know what? I should really change this around. Let's do that. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there. Just don't want to make sure I'm not wasting. Wow, you sure are slow at powering up. And yeah, let's do this in the wall instead. So if we go ahead and right click this, there we go. go and pop you off there we go so go ahead and do this in the wall it'll be a little easier um, so we put the tesseract down here and we're gonna have to space this out just a wee bit unfortunately right now you can't do all the sides yet can you oh, actually I don't know any yet can you or can't you I don't think so but I mean he may have already changed that uh, this is what it looks like on one side. This is what it looks like on the other. See, if you try to change this, it changes both sides. But that's actually getting fixed in a new update in the near future. Well, it's not even a fix, but it's becoming a feature to be able to f change that. So, the first thing we want to put is Magma Crucible down here. And then we put this one here. There we go, Liquid Transposer. And then on the end of the Liquid Transposer, we want to blank it out. And then we can go ahead and put the Carpenter down. But before we throw the carpenter down, let's get ourselves a uh, Oculus accumulator. So we should have quite a few of those in here. And let's also get us, uh, let's just say, uh, water. Water, water, water. There we go. Um, we should have a couple water buckets here. Perfect. So, um, and we probably should get some kind of stone or dirt or doesn't even matter what it is. Just give me it now. There you go. And we should probably put... These don't have anything on, on the bottom of them, do they? Oh, they do, but we don't need that, so let's reject their asses here. There you go. So I'm just going to put that there, and uh, there you go. Actually, no. That we want there. Um, you, one, two, three, there you go. So we put the bucket of water over here, and we put the bucket of water here. And now we can pick these up. Might as well just refill them. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Took the wrong end here. Um, fill you up and take from the middle. And then take from the middle. There we go. Might as well just fill up the bucket again. And we put you here. And there you go. So we got this running perfect. So we can put the carpenter down now. And the carpenter should be getting power. Oh, please tell me the... Well, the carpenter does take power, right? It's just... Nothing set up right. 
and basically you just turn that on. And the nice thing is having that access, you can turn that on and off with a wrench, I guess, makes life a little easier. Mm, I wonder if a lever can work on that. Lever 2000, maybe. Let's try this. So, you know, power's coming in. Not coming in, I said. Oh, we don't even have this set. There we go. So you got power coming, not in, because we set it. There we go. No. No. I thought I set it right now. Come on, power. Come on. Is it taking its time, or am I completely derping up now? I think I'm derping up here. I think that's supposed to be like that. But, maybe it takes a minute? I don't know. Okay, now we gotta figure... Oh, power 2! I don't remember putting on power 2. Dumbass cane. There we go. Look at energy stored is increasing. Weird it's not showing in there. Oh yeah, because that's the friggin' liquid! Anyways... I was wondering if that'll have an effect on it. No, I don't think so. But, now we're doing this. I think it does on here. So you should do like this, redstone controlled, and requiring it, right? So this should stop, and then that down will enable it. Ah, that's kind of good. So we can easily turn it on and off now. Uh, and I'll fill this in with CF. So there we go. We got this thing probably running. Um... So let's go ahead and go and look at the B analyzer here. And uh, here it is. So we want to just make this basically tin, some glass, so redstone, tin, glass. And uh, we already forgot what we were doing, so we just look at it again. And uh, oh, oh, a diamond. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's no NEI for this. <laughs> there's no NEI period for this. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can remember this. Tin. Uh, glass, maybe? Diamond. Redstone. There we go. And... Does that mean it's already done? No. If I... Oh, no. Hmm. I think that was the progress bar. I'm pretty sure we're getting very minute amounts of power. Weird thing is, I don't think these things should be taking that much power, but yet it acts like these are taking an insane amount of power. So if that's the case, I mean, those are a lot of combustion engines. I should be getting an insane amount of power in here. Still, I feel like it's way too slow. You know, I think I'm going to make a new frequency. I think maybe my power has been compromised elsewhere from before. Um, so let's go and put these as... Yeah, I think it is now. Let's put these as power... Let's do frequency 3. And let's just call it power 3, I guess. Just add a list. There you go. I feel like my power may be compromised elsewhere from some other project. Broken quarry. Who knows? Pumps, actually, even. Um... So, let's look at this power. Yeah, this power was getting really slow in here. Let's see if this changes things for us. Oh, yeah, much better. Much better. There you go. Now we're actually seeing a progress bar. And once these fill up, it'll probably be even faster. That one's going to take a while, though. It's actually nice to see a progress bar. Next thing we're going to want to even use this is something called honey. So honey is made out of a centrifuge. So let's go ahead and make something called a centrifuge. Centrifuge. Oops, sorry. Got to do that in any eye. Centrifuge here. And there's the recipe. And we weren't even in our thing. There we go. Ta-da! Centrifuge. 
And this is our wonderful centrifuge. And basically we can process combs in here. So, we got some combs. Most of them are outside though, of course. But, uh, yeah, we don't have any here. So, yeah, they're all outside. Ow! Let's basically go here and take our sweet-ass honeycomb out of these. Mmm. Got a, like a fun honeycomb on a woman. Oh, look at these. We can throw these in for another cycle. You can see these are slightly different. And is this one bugged or no? It's just slow as hell. And tropical, tropical. Let's put the tropicals in there. And oh, wait, was there honeycomb? Yeah. And more honeycomb. And more honeycomb. There we go. Back over here, my bitch. Whee! There we go. Now over here, we can tell this to eat my honeycombs. You eat them now. There we go. And this will start processing it. And uh, this is going to... we got to break the recipe to prevent it from making another one. Oh, you made another one anyway, so well. So you got two bee analyzers. I guess it buffers one in the system. And then basically, when you right-click this, you put a bee in here, and it tells you information. But we'll have no information right now because we have no honey drops. And now we have honey drops. So we're gonna go out and uh, check that cultivated, see what you know what was you know cool about it. If it was a pier, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be a pier, but we just give it a you know go here. So you take the cultivated basically here and you put your honey drops up here, and you drop this little bee in here and boop it gives you a little information on it. So, um, hold shift, get details. He's actually a cultivated slash tropic hybrid. Um, and he gives you information like the species is cultivated, inactive is tropical, lifespan is short, and their shortest, uh, I guess it's like, I'm not quite sure how all this works, but it tells you about the speed, pollen, flowers, fertile area effects. So it's a 9 by 6 by 9 So it's a huge area from the apiary uh, and it has no effects and it even has more information like climate humidity temperatures and you know like the tolerance a nocturnal flyer cave uh, possible to produce like the silky one and then the normal uh, honeycombs and then it tells you about possible mutations i've never liked this because you don't get any information on it because you can't hover on it uh, i found it kind of useless but uh anyways there you go and classification information very cool, very cool indeed. So that's uh, sort of what this does. This is pretty important to you know use more in the breeding process when you're doing a lot of crossbreeding to gather some proper information from your bee friends. So now if we go over here, we pretty much that's that's pretty much like everything in the the beginning of being in anyways. Um, like I said, I'm not really good at telling you guys this, but. Uh, Hopefully it helps, and we can put these resources away now. It's nice that we know this carpenter will work. Now, these may slowly drain power over time, so you may not want to keep this whole entire thing running all the time, mainly why I created this on and off loop, uh, button here. And uh, basically we should put our materials back in the system. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we probably can go back and turn these back on. Especially now we're probably not, uh... Oh my god, yeah, those are much faster. They were slower before. So, it was, power was draining probably to my pumps in the, uh, the lake world there, the lava lake world. Since we're pretty much done with these, we're not really going to need them. Let's go and switch them back now to that lake world. Um, I'm actually curious to see what we can get, uh, here. So, let's go power here. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we're going to get now. I think it's going to be a ridiculous number here, but I want to see my income of lava, basically. Whoop. So here we go. So, yeah, look, you can see it slowly going up. It's not hugely fast. I've, we, I mean, we've seen it faster before, but that's pretty good. I wonder if we can speed it up more. 
Oh, look at this. This is still activated, too. Look at that. I didn't even know this was still going. 341,000. Uh, I mean, I've said it before. The oil is... Like, we were having too much oil before just going around to normal oil spouts. So now it's just... It's beyond ridiculous. Um, for fun, let's turn these off. I wanted to kind of just get in a... See if I can boost those up a little faster or higher the numbers. I just... I enjoy numbers. I like the numbers. I don't know if it'll have a huge effect or not. I looked a little faster. Oh yeah, look at how fast it's going now. So, 100 buckets. 200 buckets. 300 buckets. 400 buckets. 500 buckets. 600 buckets. Yeah, so that's how fast it's going, just to give you an idea. Um, pretty beat, I guess. So, oh yeah, I was going to show you... Um, a little graph thing is it called graph G R A oh yeah proven grapher rafter I got this uh, from a villager I believe for a couple emeralds and uh, I don't even know if it was that expensive but uh, it has 150 uses and it's supposed to be good for something like this so apparently when you tap this you always get your sapling there you go there's a sapling so it's like a hundred percent sapling chance I guess or something like that and that's sort of the you know, the beauty about that. I thought we saw more things over here, but I can't see them anymore. I'm going blind. I wonder if there's a sink bug to them. Let's relog. There has been known to have sink bugs with forestries. Stuff not popping up, but I don't think... I don't think it was a sink bug. Was it just the one then, I guess? Huh. I thought we saw well, others over here, but maybe that was the one we broke with our fists? I don't know. I just felt like there was more than just the one. Anyways, we can go ahead and plant this. This is a silver lime. Interesting. And, uh, we can go plant it here. And, well, for you guys, we should bone meal this so we can give an idea what it looks like. Yeah. Do we have one of our special hoes? Oh yeah. Our hoes are low on durability. I gotta find somewhere with this in it, I guess. There we go. Uh, coming nighttime. You know, I really should put torches around here. But anyways, here we go. Oh, you bastard. Won't work because it's not a, a vanilla kind of thing here. I really, really, really need my damn uh, remote thingy. Look at this. I tried to be a show-off, and I ended up being a pain in the ass. There you go. So, um, bone meal. There you go. Go, go, go. Watch it be like too dark now for it. I don't think it needs light if it's. Oh, I forgot there's a chance again. Ah, whatever. You're not gonna get to see the lime tree. I give up. I don't. You don't deserve to see it. Um. Let's fight this guy. Wah! 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 Yeah, bitch. How about I'll do it if I find a skeleton to kill? Oh, no skeletons. Sorry. Skeletons weren't interested in playing today. Oh, here you go. I hate skeletons, or knockback is insane. Oh, I hate the sword because of the fire, and then they catch me on fire, and there we go. We got some bone. Pretty sure we'll be able to show this off now. Oh, here we go. Pop 
probably blew it up or something. Where is it? There we go. Wait, what? It's probably the light out here. No! And it apparently hit its max or something. Well, apparently these can't be bone mailed, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Well, screw me. <laughs> Aww. It's like, no, Kane, you may not show it off. So, in the near future, and I'm probably going to do some of it off camera, just to learn a bit of it, um, because I'm totally new to it. I'm going to start working on MFR, and actually that's one thing I should start doing in the near future, is collecting this uh, sludge. Apparently there's a sludge boiler or two down the road I can make, but uh, this is sludge, and it's building up quite a bit here. So I'm going to start collecting this from these machines, um, because apparently that's important, and I feel like uh, I need to do that, and so, yeah, we'll be doing that. Um... So yeah, sludge in the future, guys. And I'll put one liquid transposer here, and I'll put another here. Uh, Tesseractamine. Uh, but yeah, um, that'll be collected in that. I'm looking into um, the sludge boiler. I'll probably make that off camera. Here, sludge boiler. Actually, maybe this is not too bad of a recipe. We have everything but this elite ship. Well, I'm sorry, we don't, we're too poor for an elite ship. There we go, sludge boiler. Um, all I know is apparently you don't want to be around this, though, when you use it. Um, so I'm just going to say probably in that new little world we have, and we probably want to do some tesseracts, etc., etc. So let's go end our pearls here, and let's start feeding them through this system here. And let's do tesseracts here. And uh, we're going to have to make some new tesseracts here. And here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let me throw these in here. There we go. And we're probably going to want to put this in this world, but... Uh, actually, no, you know what? I think their mod takes BC power just as well. I think think. So we'll pretend it does. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see here. Let's see. Conduits. MP conduit. No thank you. And wrench. Okay. random stuff down the road, whatever. Just throw it in here. I'm not worried about having too much piping here, because we're not really worried about the lag as much here. Um, so, whoa! That is powering up pretty damn fast. Perfect. Um, and apparently you can make products. Let me guess, on the other side? I don't want to break the wall, so... Ha <laughs> ha! Let's take this baby out and place it over here. I just want to see if there's a output slot on this side. No, there isn't. So, hmm. We'll put it there and see what happens anyways. We know it's powering up by BC power at least, so that's awesome. Um, let's get some of these Tesseracts. Where are they? Here they are. Oh, running power on those things pretty fast. So, if we put these in here and space up, we can go liquid and here you go, liquid tesseract. And we don't have enough of these apparently. I think it's time to make a bunch of these, to be honest. There we go. And liquid tesseracts, there we go. Yeah, whatever. So, we're probably going to want conduit, or uh, not liquid pipes, and then we're going to probably want, uh, we'll throw these bee analyzer stuff in here, we're not touching them right now, and then we're going to probably want um, levers, because who knows what we have to do with that, 
There we go. That should be enough to do something anyways. Uh, so we probably have something here. I, I don't think I could put these beside it. It would be kind of cool. Um, we could always try, I guess, but I'm pretty sure that won't work. Uh, I don't think there's like a push output to it, so that's why it wouldn't work. Uh, so let's go ahead and private these and call them sludge and give them like a random ID 25. There you go. 20. There you go. Oh shit. No! There you go. What? Shh. There you go. So this is on sludge. And we want to send only, but it shouldn't have a problem there anyways. And uh, honestly, you, you, you know this won't work because we'll just put this here. And uh, we'll have the liquid duct coming out of here. And we'll set this on private, sludge, etc. Receive only. Oh shit, it is working! Oh my, didn't think it would work, guys. Oh, I'd be damned. Welp, I was a complete liar about that. So, um, we're going to do this one a little different anyways, because I'd rather not use two of them on here. I'd rather go like this. So you're going to be, oh yeah, you definitely pump out earlier than I thought you would. Damn, there we go. That should work. Send only, private, sludge, accept. There we go. And then we shift down here. Actually, let's just set this one up here since we're here. The other ones will be ready in the other room. And send only, private, sludge, accept. Haha, -ha, I'm a little impressed by this. I wasn't expecting that to work just like that. We've lost complete energy over here. Is it even going up at all, or...? Did I set the frequency off again? I forget now. Frequency 3. I think I forgot to set the frequency back to the proper one. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? Oh, ah, whatever. We're putting, making that there. There we go. Oh, blah, blah. There we go. And so this is apparently the sludge. So, um, I doubt I can do it just directly like this. Uh, receive only, but we'll see. Oh, it does work. Oh, wow. So I was told you'd get some effects with this stuff. And you can see I got poison. Um, and let's creep up to it. And see what the range of this is. Uh, not too bad. So it's processing it, and apparently it's supposed to do something with a sludge. Uh, mine factory. Okay, here you go. Blah, blah, blah. Sludge boiler. You need to configure this. Oh, God. There's something wrong with that wiki. Okay. EU sludge produce MFR. This pipe process clay. Oh, okay. Adjacent chest or pipe. Oh, shit. It went through all that sludge that fast, guys. Um, and I'm pretty sure we just lost whatever we were hoping to get out of it because we didn't have a chest beside it. So apparently it has a chance to get random things, I think. I'm not quite sure here. Darn it. I failed you. You know what we can do? We can bone meal something. And that'll create some sludge. So let's do the bone mealing. <laughs> of those uh, Grexels or whatever and see if it produces anything. Oh my god, these are still bugged? So there's a bug, as you can see, and they don't eat the bone meal. Well, I guess it means we can do this little video for you. Oh, did we run out of seeds? Nope. Oh, there you go. It's just I look up and there's all the seeds. Like, oh, I guess I'm just crazy, huh? We already knew that, though. Okay. 
I don't know how much would create this stuff, so I'm trying to go back and forth a few times, thinking that probably isn't enough, but who knows. Oh yeah. Bump, bump. Oh yeah. I hope that worked. Oh, there you go. So I got some sand and clay out of that. <laughs> and actually, if you... Because we have the NEI plugins in here. If we go recipe list and go to... Uh, let's see here. Uh, mine factory loaded sludge boiler. You have a 30... Oh, apparently so one bucket. So one bucket of sludge gives you 39% chance of sand, 31 of dirt, 23% chance of clay... 2% of mycelium and 3.9% uh, of soul sand. So basically, it's a good way of getting clay, I guess, in a way. So uh, that's kind of cute. And over here, I guess this was set to 1, but we're, we're not really worrying about this now since uh, no big deal. Oh, we should put these back on because they are going to have to keep this whole system going eventually here. Yeah, we got a pretty good amount of fuel, I think. Yeah, they're fine for a few, a couple hours, a few hours actually. But uh, I want to definitely fill this up and have the whole cycle going through. So, yeah, there you guys go. Uh, that was, I think, really intriguing. I really enjoyed that. The sludge boiler. Give it up for that. And if you get too close, it will poison you and make you hungry. So, uh, beware of that. If you don't want to be hungry, uh, stay away from it, I guess. That's cool. So, yeah, that should do it for this episode, and uh, it, we'll see how it's going to go. I may do, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I may consider doing um, the MFR, sh you know, a little farm on my own, trying to figure it out, and then just give you guys a rundown of what I did, and then we'll see what we can do from there. Or I may go ahead and do it all live with you guys, but uh, we'll see. Um how I'm feeling and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, I planted some silver trees around. That's another thing. Maybe we'll, next episode, we can work on Mistcraft, actually, and then I'll do some of the MFR stuff on my own. Um, of course, I'll show you what I did, because I'm really intrigued and interested in doing some of that, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, I guess before we go here, it's raining. Of course, we disable the rain particles, but you know, the sky's overcast, so you know it's raining. Um, but, uh, yeah, here we go. Cultivated. Yeah, nice. So, actually, before we go, this is when you take the bee analyzer. This is a good time to do it. Because you want to get pure. Maybe one of the drones are pure, but one of the other ones are not. So, this is sort of like the time you would use a bee analyzer. And also grab your supply of honey. Aren't you such a honey bee? There we go. I don't know which one is which, but, uh... So it doesn't matter. Oh, we got the right one anyways. So we just slowly, slowly run all the way back. Oh, duck. There you go. So you just put these in your inventory. You take this and you put this up here. So cultivated and cultivated. And they make you hold shift now. This is new. So, this is a good reason why you do it. These are both peer, so you want to put those two together rather than the non-peer here. And that was a good example of why someone would do that. So, we got common here and we got cultivated here. So, once again, we can go here and, you know, see which one of these are, are what here. So, we got the cultivated and cause they're both cultivated and hybrid. So... Basically, keep going and going. Except, I probably should actually go uh, and keep some commons, actually, since I don't have any commons. Oh, yeah, these are going to be pure commons, I guess. Yeah, these are pure commons, so we'll just throw that in there. And, I mean, you probably want to go and do the, you know, better version of these. Oh, it looks like these have no big differences to them. Oops. Probably do that one. Oops. 
Oh, I wasn't clicking. I was wondering, why is this not working ever? It's never clicking it. And that's sort of how you go. You just go through it and check them out. These ones are just four, so... Kind of tell. This one looks like you're doing the whole cultivated again here, so... We can see what we have here. This is actually a pure cultivated, so this one would be interesting to put against on that one. We should probably empty all our other bees here. And you can see right here it says rain. I don't like rain, lazy bastards. And we can just throw all these in here. That's it, and of course we all know those are peers. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's a bit of uh, forestry. We made a sludge boiler, I guess, and played with some BC power, and I think it was a good episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.